Sunset slow, hey you know you should stay for the night What you think, one more drink while we sit by the bonfire Cause this might be love, it's a feeling that I can't get rid of So just take my Hey everyone, it's Shinezi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Nezzle and to another vlog. In today's video, I'm taking you guys on another island tour. We're gonna stop at some lovely places. A few you have seen already, but there are some new ones and I'm gonna be flying the drone. We're gonna be having fun, so stay tuned. I really think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. The sun is out, we're in good moods. I'm going out with a group of students from one of the secondary schools here in Grenada, and I just believe it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay with me, take a chance, baby, roll the dice. Gotta give me some love, cause when I'm with you, I'm in paradise. You know how to make me feel alive. So guys, our first stop today is the blowhole, which I have shown you all before. So I'm not going to spend too much time here, but just in case this is my first video or you just really love to see the blowhole, then you're going to see it again here. And guys this is the entrance that we took today so i know i've shown you all the other entrance over by the blue house but this is i think more of an official entrance here so i'm just showing it to you as well and there's a lovely house opposite as well as this one next to it just as a place marker Alright, okay, guys so we're here at our second stop now we're at arawak islands in frequente industrial park and here they make perfumes as well as soaps and a bunch of other things that you can use on your body so we're just gonna get a little tour and see what inside it looks like so let me show you what they have everything is made with oil so then we have lip balm then we have body oil which we use for massage different types of soaps so we have soaps in the jar, we have soaps in soap bar. So we package it different. So we have it like this, we have it so, and then we have our spices, then we have our cocoa ball, which we have it in jars as well, and we have our hot stuff. We do wholesale, retail, and exports. And then we have our spicy sauce. The one to cook, which is seasoned up, and then we have the plain one. So, it come like this and we turn it till it gets fine. Your important? Yes. And then we have our tree spice. So we have nutmeg, ginger and cinnamon with the label roll like this inside. And then we go over to our candles. We have peach, cinnamon, coconut. We do it in our coconut shell and everything made with our hands. And then we go over to our so we have citrus blood, we have rain, and we have ninja. Didn't get the same. Insect repellent which we use for mosquitoes and sunflies. One nutmeg alabam spray for arthritis. We have our air freshener, which we package like this. Made local, so we use bay leaf and our bougainvillea flowers. But we doesn't take out and have it. Mm. So if the person come for, then you go and get one. fresh ones. Oh, and it. It. guys, it smells really good. And this is our insect also. So as you can see, they do quite a lot here. Yeah, they make the soaps and the perfumes, and they have the candle, the incense, the air freshener, quite a lot. So whenever you're here, you know you can visit, or if you live here, come and support. The prices are pretty good. Well, we can put it into balls or bags. Mm. Like scraps. Oh. Some, some, people, some customers like the scraps. 
They like the balls, they like the mm. This is the sea salt yeah. before it's pounded and crushed. Oh, and guys, they're saying that you can soak your feet with the sea salt as well. So I just showed y'all the big um, salt crystals. You can actually use that and do like a foot bath. Alright, so we are at the next stop now. Well, not at it, we're heading to it. We're going to Palmist Lake. So we're in the parish of St. John. And so we are trekking there. We drove as far as we could. You can't really drive all the way in unless you have one of like those big truck vehicles kind of vans or vans, you know. So this is Palmas Lake here. It's a man-made lake. It's very beautiful. And you can see all the palms around it. And guys, it's actually my first time at this lake, so it's a new experience for me as well. But it's beautiful, it's serene, you hear the birds and so it's very relaxing. You can just come here and sit back and enjoy yourself. It's a little bit of a trek, but it's not too long. And anybody could do it. It's not anything difficult at all. Walk on the edge, you can get up a little bit more. Mm. And walk on the edge and look over. So, this is the other side of the lake here. And this lake was actually built by the French, so they had slaves who built it. And it was initially supposed to be a dam that should service the people in St. John's. Okay, you can see the water falling down there, so the water is literally coming out of it. So, they had like a metal door or so. And based on the information I have, they would have about six slaves or so who would lift it up and allow the water to come out, but then the door got stuck. So then that is how it became a lake. But now the wall is getting damaged, so the water is actually seeping out, which is what you're seeing over there. But it's really cool. It's a little scary being up on this little ledge, but it's beautiful. Let me show you guys one more time. This is the ledge that I'm on. So I walked across on this side here. But you can also walk across on that side there. But imagine all here is built by slaves and road. And guys, like all the road was built by slaves and so. And apparently before like the water would overflow and sometimes come in the road. But this is all new information to me. My friend is just teaching me because I didn't know any of this. You see the water flowing out below there. So we're leaving Palmas Lake now and the locals also sometimes call it Palmas Dig. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what it looks like. And now we're heading on to our next stop. We're at Diamond Chocolate Factory in St. Mark's. So I'm going to take you in quickly and show you what they have as well as give you a quick look at the area. Never up, never down, never. 
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Are oh, you taking out the bad ones? Mm hmm Oh. And then the rest go into this bag, eh? Yeah. Oh. So you guys got to see some of the chocolates that they have on sale. You can sample them as well. And you were able to see a little bit of where they were sorting the cocoa beans in order to get rid of the old ones. By the time we got here, they had already finished mixing the chocolate for today. But the short clip I showed of inside the facility, that's where they would normally do the mixing of the ingredients to make the chocolate bars. In Duke and St. Mark now, we're gonna go to see the hieroglyphics on the beach. It took us a little while to get here. It was a whole thing, guys. I flew my drone into a tree. It was such a traumatic experience. I was flying it backwards, everything was going fine. I thought the drone had some kind of detection. I guess it did not. And it smashed into the tree and went down. Much noise. Had to walk a little bit because they started playing music in the bus but yeah the drone smashed into the tree and it went down i couldn't figure out where it was i was trying to look at the bit of footage that the drone did capture in order to get an idea and there were so many trees in the area but thankfully there were these two lovely people from the area as well as some of the students who came and they helped me and we looked and we looked and we looked and when we started to give up we found it in the ravine i wasn't even thinking to vlog at the time so i have no footage of it but we got it right now I'm not sure if it's working um i guess i'll put a note on screen let y'all know if it's working but i'll put it in some rice we did um kind of blow it out in the dryer because it wasn't water but fingers crossed that it will work literally i felt my heart just went down in my toe because i was like oh my gosh but anyway we're here at duquesne beach now and i'm going to show you guys the hieroglyphics i would have loved to show you some footage of the beach from above but i'm not going to try putting on the drone now because i don't want to risk making it worse but aside from all the drama i hope you all are enjoying the video So this is the hieroglyphic or petroglyphs as this sign says and it just explains it to the right here you can see the hieroglyphics better or the petroglyph you guys as you can see here there's another one here it's pretty cool hey guys yo miss you look tiny say hi to the camera hi. hello aliyah williams here 
Yeah. Well, at least say hi. I guess that's the only way we really get the yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading back to the bus now, and they're going to Welcome Stone. But I've already been there a lot of times, and I've shown you there a lot of times. So I don't think I'm going to trek up the hill. I'm going to use that time to have my lunch. But if we go anywhere else, I shall definitely show you guys. So I last looked at the Beach. With its beautiful palm trees. 